Hello everyone, my name is Visor, and this is my first Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Okay, so let's just get into it. So this is the final output, this is what we'll be doing, and this is ray tracing. So we spawn a cube and then use the ray trace, nothing happens, but if we spawn a ball, it explodes, it destroys the actor. Okay, so let's, let's just do it. Mm, okay, so this... We'll just break and break and then put this over here. Okay. These two blueprints, they don't matter. This is just for to spawn the the objects, okay? And you can see here the blueprint is just normal blueprints with a, a little actor on it. And so let's get to it. So first thing you'll need is a box trace or a ray trace. There's no difference except one's a line and the other one's a, a box. You know, so let's just use the box one. So just write box trace. Okay, box trace for objects. Okay, and now we need. Let's look at this. So we need a start and an end. This is the size of the box. So let's just. 25 so you can we can actually see the box and the draw debug is the little lines so you can see where the you know where the the, the trace is and so start and end I already have two objects you know start trace and end trace so let's just connect them create a reference okay and now you need to get world location not not rotation get world location okay and then start we just duplicate this and then come over here pick up the n and create another reference okay so and plug this in can't forget that and plug this one as well okay so object types this is the type of object that you want trace to hit so you can just create an array and it will have all the types I'll just put in physics body but imagine that you want destructibles as well you just add another pin and hit destructible okay so now actors to ignore we want to ignore one of these okay so we were ignoring the cubes no, now let's let's ignore the balls okay so you it's you don't create a reference to the blueprint no you need because when it spawns, it's the blueprint has a different name. So what we need to do is create two variables, okay, and make them an object reference to an actor, okay, and then click on this little bu button and it will create an array, okay. I already made them, so let's just use those, okay. So then we make set and then set. So we want to ignore the balls, right? So let's just plug these in and then plug these what? Plug this as well and done. So now the destruction part. We want to make first off a branch. Okay? And plug it in. That's the condition. So if it hits an object, we want to destroy it. Okay. Bad typing is bad. And after destroying, we want to spawn an em an em an emitter. And then let's just cre select the explosion. Okay. And then we make play sound at location. Okay. And then the explosion sound. So now we need to put the location and the object so let's just from the output hit let's just write break now nothing will show up we have to uncheck the context sensitive and up here we have break hit result let's just select that one and from there the impact point we'll plug it to both locations okay and that's the location where it destroys the actor and now we also need to hit actor plug it to this destroy actor so it knows what to destroy and that should be it it should be working right 
no, we forgot something. So we want to ignore the cubes. We also need to pick up our array and get and plug it into the actors to ignore. So now let's test it out. Let's just hit play. So now, if I spawn a cube, it will explode. But if I spawn a ball, nothing will happen. So this is basically it. You know, you can get a lot more complicated than this. You can use it to, you know, fire a weapon and know what to destroy, apply a, a you know, a force so it destroys the the little thingamajiggy. Whatever. You can use it for a lot of stuff. So hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for watching.